hey guys so today i'm going to be doing this spring look and it has like berries and like some pinks um for this look i used the modern renaissance palette and i also used the morphe 350m palette and then i used a mac pigment for the sparkle part sparkle part <clears throat> i also filmed my skin routine even though i already updated my full face routine i decided to film another like full face but um it's like more dewy so i like showed you guys my steps that i do to achieve a do <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoy that i hope you guys like this look um it's very simple and very pretty you can use this you can basically wear this anywhere um but it's very springy and uh, yeah so hope you guys like it subscribe like and comment if you want to and um i'll always comment back all the products in this video that were used will be in the description so if you guys have any questions for any products or any brushes always in the description box and yeah so i hope you guys like this look and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, we're going to start off with a clean face. And I am using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is awesome if you have dry skin. And it smells like coconuts. Okay, now we're using this Becca Shimmering Primer. I don't know if it's a primer. It's just something shimmering. It will be in the description box because I don't know what it is. But it makes my skin very dewy and shimmery. And I love it. It's amazing. And it smells really good. Okay, guys. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I absolutely love this um foundation i will leave you know my color in the description box as you can see i'm dotting this on my face and i'm not dotting that much and it covers everything so don't use a lot because it's super full coverage and i'm using a beauty blender i use a beauty blender with most of my foundations i feel like it looks good with any foundation you need a beauty blender by the way if i haven't already said that <laughs> Okay, so I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is not my favorite concealer, guys. I really prefer other ones. But yeah, I just chose this one because I, don't, I haven't been using it. And I don't want it to go to waste. I don't want it to go bad. So I'm using under my eye in this triangle motion. You know how everyone applies concealer. And this is in the color Light Sand. And guys, this would not be a Vanessa tutorial if I wasn't using this yellow corrector by LA Girl. I love this corrector. It is amazing. I feel like it just puts all the, like it just makes the concealer look better, you know? I use this, I usually use this on top of every concealer. Add some yellow. I like yellow under my eyes. That's just me. Of course, using a beauty blender because... Where would anyone be without a beauty blender? Let's be real. Okay guys, this step is super crucial. I'm just powdering my cheeks and where my contour is gonna go and of course my forehead. I'm not powdering where I bake because my highlight's gonna go there and the highlight's gonna stick to the concealer which will make me look super dewy and super highlighted. Like 
All right, guys, I'm using Max Dark Deepest Bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. I really want this look to look super bronzy because it's spring. You know the drill. Okay guys, so here I'm going to be using Hoola, and I'm going in with my MAC 109. Hoola is an amazing bronzer. The reason I'm not using my Too Faced light to medium is because I want to look more bronzed in this springtime look. I don't want to look, you know, too pale. I want to look like I got some sun. Okay guys, after the bronzing comes the fun part, baking. I'm just kidding, I hate baking because it gets everywhere. I'm using Ben Nye's Banana Powder as you saw, and I'm using my Real Techniques sponge, the flat side. Um, I like to bake, you know, cut, bake all underneath my bronzing and my contour, and like drag that powder all the way to my opening of my mouth. I feel like it looks really natural and very symmetrical. Okay guys, the actual fun part, highlighting, and since I didn't bake yet, this highlight is going to look blinding because it has something to stick on that's wet. Um, I love this. Oh, and by the way, I'm trying out this new Wet n Wild highlighter. Don't know the name of it, but of course, description box if you want to know. Um, and I really liked it. To be honest, for the price, it's amazing. And, you know, Wet n Wild doesn't disappoint me ever. Super affordable and super pigmented. Okay guys, one highlighter was not enough for me. I needed another one. And this one is the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm. It's amazing. Kind of has the same color as that Went Wild one. And I'm just putting this on top of my Went Wild highlighter. Okay, guys, this is NARS's Orgasm. I love the names they have Orgasm, Deep Throat. NARS keep coming with those amazing names. <laughs> I'm going to be putting this all over my cheeks. I was feeling a very rosy cheek. Okay guys, I'm applying Anastasia's uh, Glow Kit in the shade That Glow on top of the two highlighters that I already applied. I don't know why I was feeling so bright today. Okay, I'm applying the RCMA Translucent Powder and it's in a different tub because I didn't like the packaging of the original Translucent Powder and I'm applying this with the Mini Beauty Blender. And the reason I chose the mini one is because I didn't want powder to get into my highlight because I've done that before and then it just looks like there was no reason to have applied the highlighter over that wet concealer if you're just going to put powder. So this is why I used the little mini beauty blender. Okay guys, the fun part, I'm applying Soft Ochre as my primer as always dabbing it all over the lid with my finger. Okay guys, so we're starting off with the 350M palette by Morphe and I'm using my favorite brush the morphe 504 brush and 504 and using this as a transition shade that shade that i pointed out i'm using that all over the lid not all over just as a transition
Okay, I'm using a darker brown color right there, that one I'm pointing at. And I'm using the Anastasia brush. It comes with all her palettes. And I'm just focusing this on my outer V. Um, I'm not really trying to drag it into my crease. Okay guys, I'm editing in my bathroom. I hope the acoustics in here are good. <laughs> I'm using Red Ochre in the Modern Renaissance palette. I really like this color. I was kind of afraid though because I didn't know how it was going to blend out. I have never used this shade in the palette and I was scared. Didn't want to fuck it up. But as you can see, I'm just bouncing the color on top of that brown. I'm not swirling it or brushing it. I'm just bouncing it. Okay, so I'm going in with my Morphe M504 brush, and I'm going in and blending out any harsh edges that I see. Anything that looks, you know, uneven or unblended, I'm going in and blending it out. Okay, so here I'm using the MAC pigment in the color Rose. I'm not sure if this is a continued. I'm not sure at all. I will check for you guys and leave it in the description box. It's really pretty. It's like pink. It's like a berry pink with little gold shimmers in it. And I love it so much. It's so pretty. <laughs> So basically with this trick, you apply the primer, or you can even use a concealer, I used my soft ochre, you have to apply it where you're going to apply the glitter. So I started making this like U shape, because I didn't want to go over, and I didn't want it to touch the trans transition, and yes, I'm putting the soft ochre over that sparkle because it was a fail, and it actually worked out pretty good, and you couldn't even tell that I failed the first time. So here I am using a flat shader brush, pretty sure that's what they're called, and I am patting the pigment on top of the soft ochre paint pot, and this prevents fallout, but there was still a little bit of fallout, but you know, you just gotta work with it, it happens, it's a pigment, it's a loose pigment, it's gonna happen. Okay, again, I'm going back in with the Morphe M504 brush, making sure there's not any hard edges. I'm obsessed with blending, as you can tell. And guys, a good trick if you have fallout on your cheek, you can use a stippling brush. I use this really fluffy stippling brush, and it worked out pretty good. Okay guys, here I am going in with uh, red ochre and also going in with the, ooh, love letter. Yeah, love letter. And I'm smudging this under my eye. As you guys know, I don't know if you guys know, maybe not. I love that smoky look under the lash, on the lower lash. I feel like it puts the look together. 
It's just amazing. So good. So I'm using all those berry colors in the palette. I'm using them. Red ochre. I don't know how to say the, set, the one next to red ochre. And love letter. For love letter, I'm using the other side of the brush because it's more precise. And I like the darker color to be more precise under the lash line. I don't know. I just like it. I think it looks nice. If you don't like it, don't do it. But I like it. Okay guys, here I'm going in with this Lancome mascara. I just got it. It's like a little chubby one. The little packaging is really cute. It's like chubby. And um, just using this for my lashes. I didn't curl my lashes because again, I can't find my eyelash curler. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, now I'm applying lashes. These are Kiss um, lashes called Poise. I layered them with Salon Perfect 615. Okay, guys, my favorite mascara. If you guys are in a bud, like, are on a budget, this mascara is amazing. I choose this over my high end mascaras all the time. Um, it's the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara, Voluminous. I love it for my lower lash. It doesn't smudge, and if you cry. You're good. Hey guys, my favorite part too. My whole makeup routine is my favorite part. But one of my favorite parts is lips because I can just change your look. I'm using Spice Max Lip Liner and I'm lining my lips. Okay, so my liquid lipstick choice for today was Serenity by Gerard Cosmetics. This was Manny MUA's collaboration with Gerard Cosmetics. I think this color is amazing. Manny did a good as fucking job. I'm sorry for cursing, but I love this liquid lipstick and it's so it looks so good on everyone. And um yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's just so good. <laughs> Wait, we're not finished because matte lips are for fall. So we need some gloss. And this gloss is Kylie So Cute Gloss. It's very, very pigmented, so you gotta be very good with it. I'm not really a fan of her glosses. They're too sticky. Uh, no.
Okay guys, we are finished. And by the way, as you can see, my lash glue sucks. It sucks. Look at it. It's literally hanging by freaking thread. It's so bad. I was so mad when I was reviewing this. Well, actually, not even reviewing this while I was filming this. I'm like, my lash glue sucks. So if you have any recommendations, tell me, please. Help a girl out. If you guys like this and if you guys want other kinds of looks, please leave a comment. If you liked, please subscribe and like this video. And I appreciate when you guys do. And thanks for watching.